Hello, welcome to Indie Tutorials. My name is Guillermo and I would like to thank the Patreon supporting this channel. Okay, so what we want to do is go into our scripts folder. Uh, let's say in the utils section here I will add a new script and I will call this script schematic caller or tester and let Unity synchronize with Visual Studio or your editor of choice, let it compile anytime now thank you so now we can open up the script itself and uh, in the description of the video there is a link for the paste bean script so what you want to do is just select everything and replace it with the paste bean uh, code again you can call it whatever you want and rename the name space it doesn't matter so what we are doing here is just uh, having a variable to store the key code unity standards input system and then uh, a variable to store the schematic itself and in the update method if we press that key uh, whatever you choose as key it will play the schematic uh, the only caveat here is of course we are passing the uh, the leader the combatant leader as the machine uh, object so just bear that in mind all right so let me save the changes go back to unity let it compile once again now that we have the script and we have the player prefab open let me collapse some of these uh, components and let's add the schematic color and I will say to press the E key to equip uh, e, 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 e key there we go and then in the schematic we need to pass uh, or set there the equip schematic then I lost the inspector so let me just drag this one here right and again we are in the player prefab uh, editor mode okay let me save now let's test it out so let me close the player prefab make some room here and let's click on play so now I want to select the game object itself and press F to focus in the preview or the sim a view here like so now back in the game view if I were to press the E key we can see the helmet is equipped and shown let me press escape to release the cursor and we can see that still the hair is being is not being hidden here O1 so uh, let's check it out maybe something I misspelled that that's the thing risky thing I mentioned about so let me see that and also uh, now that we can see that the equipment actually is working let me stop play mode and what we can do is in the prefab itself let's uh, also show the the bird objects something like that save the prefab let me see if something I misspell or something is not working properly in the schematic okay press E key and yes the hair game objects are not being hidden so let's review the schematic something is not working there not uh, not right 
but at least the the first the equipment uh, of the helmet is it does anyways let's stop play mode and go to the schematic so i uh, let me check let's open up the schematic i know what is this issue so we had when we start creating the list of game objects right the first one is the bird 101 but as you can see when we copy the nodes we left or i left the change type to set so what it's basically doing is overriding the list all the way down so we want to set the first time but afterwards we want to actually add the new game object to the current list okay so my bad there let me save the changes twice and then let's test it out control P okay so let's press the E key down below of course and now we are hitting let me release the cursor now the hair and the bird is hidden properly so let's do the opposite now to unequip this helmet ctrl p and it's easy just um, let me duplicate this schematic and rename it to unequip unequip helmet a let's double click it to open up in the machinom editor and from here what we want to do is the opposite so we, we can leave the set uh, or the creation of the list again but instead of activate the helmet then we want to unactivate it or, or hide it and then for the hair list whenever we have uh, as a custom character creator then we want to set to active right so let me save this schematic we need to assign it this on equip again to the inventory equipment helmet level settings on equip schematic so let's uh, assign this one here save once again and we can quickly test it out by adding the same script schematic color to the player prefab utils and let's add this one here and for the sake of simplicity let's use here the key u unequip and we assign the unequip schematic to test and let's hit on play all right now e for equip u for unequip E, U, E, U. Okay, so uh, on the next video, of course, this is this is for testing purposes. Uh, ideally, what we want to we are going to build now is the UI menu interface, so we can pick up this helmet from the UI and equip it and unequip it from the uh, in-game menu. Uh, okay and of course uh, we are going to do that in the next video because that's another tedious long process to build the ui so bear with me in that and um, i want to thank you all for supporting and watching the videos see you on the next one